In the world of anti-tank guided missiles, there are two major players. First is a Javelin, America's wonder weapon which destroyed hundreds of Russian tanks in the Ukraine war. The other is a Cornet, the vintage Russian product. Both are deadly to tanks and armored vehicles. After Russia, India is the biggest user of Cornet ATGM, having around 250 launchers and 3000 missiles. In this video, we will compare both the ATGMs and understand the strength and weakness of each of the systems. The Javelin, officially called FGM-148, requires no introduction. It is an American man-made portable anti-tank system in service since 1996. It's a fire and forget system. The Javelin has a length of 1.1 meters, a diameter of 127 millimeters, and weighs 22.3 kgs. The Cornet, on the other hand, is bigger at 1.2 meters length a diameter of 152 millimeters and weighs 29 kgs. Due to the extra weight, the Cornet needs a minimum of two people to operate and it needs to be mounted on a tripod. Both the ADGMs have different philosophies and will be discussed later in this video. While the Javelin has a range of 2.5 kilometers, the Cornet EM has a huge range of 8 kilometers. This vast range looks spectacular but raises many practical questions. For using the Cornet, the gunner would first shine a laser to the target. After getting a lock on, the missile is fired, which then rides on the laser beam towards the target in rotational motion as shown in the video. This peculiar motion may be to keep the laser on site with the target. The laser light must be focused till the missile hits the target. Now this becomes very challenging if the target is moving and also if it is 8 km distance that would pose a significant challenge to the gunner to focus on the target. This also means an unobstructed line of sight is needed for a successful missile hit. Also, every tank has a smoke screen which can be launched instantly to hide itself. Hence, whether the laser riding mechanism of the Cornet is actually effective or not is unclear. Also, Cornet's gunners use a thermal vision camera, a technology in which Russians are not big players. The Javelin, on the other hand, is a fire and forget system. The Javelin uses infrared homing to track its target. The gunner first tracks the target using his command and launch unit, gets a lock on and fires the missile. The missile's onboard guidance system then proceeds and hits a locked on target. Like the Cornet, the Javelin also uses the tandem heat charge which will easily defeat the ERA protection which all the Russian tanks have. Coming to the cost, the Cornets cost only 26,000 US dollars, whereas the Javelin ATGM cost 250,000 US dollars. That's almost 10 times the cost. While the cost may be unbearable for many countries, the success rate of Javelin ATGM is very high at 93 to 95%. Now let's compare the performance of both the ATGM in the battlefield. First, the Cornet. The Cornet has an armor penetration of approximately 1000 to 1300 millimeters and uses the tandem heat charge, which means it cannot penetrate the front of the heavily armored Western tanks like the M1 Abrams, which have an armor of 1500 to 1600 millimeters. The Cornet would prove deadly if hit from the side. In the 2003 US-led invasion of Iraq, Iraqi soldiers fired on the incoming M1 Abrams and Bradley fighting vehicles. The Cornet disabled two Abrams and one Bradley fighting vehicle. The US forces were then ordered to seize any samples of the Cornet for analysis by the military intelligence. Javelin has a low armor penetration of 600 to 800 millimeters only. But Javelin has a big trick up its sleeve. The Javelin ATG can be launched in two ways. First, the direct attack mode, where the missile travels in a straight path like any other ATGMs. But this can be least effective due to the tank's reactive armor. And the other is a unique top attack mode where the missile climbs up to 150 meters and hits the top of the tank where the armor is minimum. This is deadly as most Russian tanks do not have protection against this type of attack. The Cornet on the other hand attacks in direct mode only. But a big question is, will the western tank turrets pop up like the Russian tanks as seen in the Ukraine war? The Russian tanks store their shells in the middle, right under the turret, between the crew. 
It's logically the most secure place. But when javelin-like ATGMs attack in top mode, the entire case of shells explode, popping the turret and killing all the crew. Western tanks like the Leopards and Abrams store their shells on the turret, which also has a blast door. This gives the tank and its crew greater survivability than the Russian tanks. While the Javelin can fire only one type of missile, the Cornet can also fire a thermobaric missile. What is that? A thermobaric missile is a missile which when dropped emits a dense smoke which spreads out in an area. A second blast would ignite the smoke causing a huge explosion thereby vaporizing humans in the area. The thermobaric bomb is widely used by the Russians in the Ukraine war to attack Ukrainian fortifications and trenches. Another drawback of the Cornet is that it travels at low speed of 200 to 300 meters per second. This can be easily defeated by projectiles of the Active Protection Systems or APS. The Javelin on the other hand travels at 2000 meters per second which can defeat any APS. Pakistan, a close ally of the US, does not have the Javelin ATGM yet. But should India be worried? In 2020, India through the emergency rule procured 12 launchers and 200 missiles of the Spike ATGM from Israel. The Spike ATGM is very expensive like the Javelin, costing around 210,000 US dollars per unit. The Spike ATGM has IR homing and top attack mode just like the Javelin. But there is more good news. The DRDO is developing an indigenous version of Javelin ATGM called MPAT GM or Man Portable Anti Tank Guided Missile. The MPAT GM has infrared homing and also has a top attack mode like the Javelin. It is presently in testing phase. If India is successful, it can price this new ATGM way lower than the Javelin and can be a killer product for boosting India's defense exports. If you like this video, please subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.